Hey there, I'm gonna real quickly show you how to overlay a time code on a video in Premiere Pro, similar to what you see showing on the screen right now. Now I'm in the project that I wanna add the time code to, and the first thing I'm going to need to do is add a black video. So you can do that by going right click, new item, black video. You can also do it down here by new item, black video, and you can also do it from your menu bar. I'm going to leave it at the default settings and hit OK. Take that black video now and drag it from your project panel down to the timeline and extend it all the way so that it's covering the whole thing. Now I know it's working obviously because everything is black on the screen. Next thing you want to do is go to your effects panel and you want to search for time code. Take that time code and just drag and drop it onto that black video first thing that pops up is going to be a time code. So it's got a few things going on here. You can see it's got one hour on it, and even though I have it uh, an hour long of video, so we'll fix that here in a second. But the rest of the time is correct. This might not be correct if when we set that time code, the frame rate didn't match what the frame rate was of the video. So go into your effects panel, go to time code, and the things that you can change here, well, you can change anything here, but the things that you want to change here, first off is going to be if you can get rid of this field symbol if you want. I usually get rid of mine because I don't see the point of it, but we'll leave it for now. Next thing you can change is going to be your SMPTE, frames, free frames, whatever. Leave that at the default or if you want. Now, this is the one I want to change here is media. So by default, it's at media. If I switch it to clip, it's going to drop that hour off of it so now that the times are an exact match. The next thing that you can change is going to be your time display. So this is if when you added that time code, you um, let's say you left it at the default of 25, which it was, but maybe your video was actually recorded at 30 frames per second. You can switch that. So now it's showing incorrectly because, of course, it doesn't match. Those are the things that you're going to want to change. Everything else I'll pretty much just leave as is. Now let's fix the fact that we can't see our video. We're going to go back to our effects panel and we're going to look for crop. Take crop, drag and drop that onto that black video. And now within your effects control, go down to where it says crop and you can see it's now outlined. You can adjust it in here by just hovering over with your mouse, clicking your mouse button and dragging and moving it if you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it within here, so I'm just gonna grab the edges and I'm gonna pull it down to where I want it. And that's pretty much it. The other things that you can do if you want is you can move it around. So within effects, just select on where it says motion and then you can move it around wherever you want in the video if you want it to be on the top center instead of the lower center. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found this useful. Have a nice day.